Thursday the 18th of March and select committees have been meeting this morning. The House will sit at 2 o'clock uh, and will run until 5 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, it will start with a government uh, notice of motion uh, in the name of the Honourable Grant Robertson, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister congratulating Team New Zealand for their uh, win in the America's Cup. Following that, a business statement from the Leader of the House with the opportunity to have that questioned uh, by the opposition. The, the key uh, thing that he will tell us is what the business of the House will be next week. Then we'll get on to oral questions to Ministers. Uh, Ingrid Leary to the Minister of Finance about the economy. Brooke Van Velden to the Minister of Health about Pharmac funding and the review. Shane Retty to the Minister of Health about the number of district health boards. Maya Lubeck to the Minister of Education uh, about preparing for increased student numbers uh, north of Auckland. Michael Woodhouse about the uh, second harbour crossing in Auckland and planning for that. Andy Warren Clark um, about uh, to the Minister for Social Development and Employment uh, about food security. Uh, Nicola Willis to the Associate Minister of Housing uh, about the number of people who are in motels. Paul Eagle to the Minister of Maori Development about Papakainga housing in the Chatham Islands. Simeon Brown to the Minister of Police about police numbers and gangs. Eugenie Sage to the Minister of the Environment about intensive winter grazing. Uh, Tony Severin to the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety about the minimum wage and the effects on employment. And Joe Luxon to the Associate Minister of Education uh, about learning support coordinators in schools. Now following that we have something which is relatively unusual these days uh, and that is a question to a member. Um, Tony Severin is going to ask Teresa Ngobi about her uh, holidays parent-teacher interview leave bill uh, which has been drawn from the ballot and she's going to ask uh, about the estimated costs of that to employers. We'll then go on to uh, legislation which um, is relatively straightforward I think. Uh, the a second reading of the uh, Appropriation uh, Confirmation and Validation Bill. All that does is really shift around a bit of money between outputs, uh, some overspend, some underspends, just to tidy up last year's accounts. Then the Child Support Amendment Bill, third reading in the name of David Parker. The continuation of the uh, Building Products Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable uh, Potter Williams. We've made some progress on that. And when we finish that, if we finish that, the secondary legislation bill, third reading, which is also in the name of the Honourable David Parker, that tidies up uh, some of the regulation making arrangements. So we'll finish at five and I'll see you again at two o'clock next Tuesday.